Today's bar class is short and sweet, nice and condensed, but it's going to give you a great workout when you are short on time. All you'll need is a light set of weights and a mat, so this class should be under 30 minutes. You are welcome. Starting here in a parallel stance with a few shoulder rolls, making it even bigger. And then taking those arms out to a T to take a breathe in for two. Stretch and lift, lengthening through that crown of the head. Take it down for two. And then lift it all the way up. Single counts were down and up. As you take those arms up to your shoulder height, think about sinking the shoulders down the length of the spine, creating some space. Adding your releve if you're looking to move on, making it even bigger, lifting up tall on the ball mounds of the feet. We're going to make it even bigger by swooping underneath the thighs and then lifting back up. So slight hinge forward, hinging at the hips. Plie and lunge. Just the right side steps back into a 90 degree shape, hovering that back knee off the floor. Being mindful of that front knee so it stays in line with the ankle. If you want to keep those arms at shoulder height, you can. And then lift and lower in that lunge. Pushing that right hip forward, pulling the left hip back so the hips are nice and square. I'm trying to get that back knee to hover again off the floor. And then hold it low and pulse. Little tiny dips. Barely moving. Just warming up through the lower body. Keeping the core engaged for four, three, two, we're down, and lift. So three pulses in your lunge and then a passe lift, finding this moment of balance as you lift up into that standing leg. Lifting up nice and tall, finding space within the side of the body for singles, and up, down, and up, all the way down, all the way up, bringing that toe to the knee, lower, lift, For four, lift. So three pulses and a batma stretch. So we're just warming up through the body. So there's no need to get this leg nice and high. It's all about length and stretch. Single counts and up, down and up. Pointing through those toes so you find that length all the way down the back of the leg. For four, stretch a little taller. Three, core is engaged for two. Last one. Now take it down to second, lunge to second. So you're being mindful about twisting on the bottom out of that back foot so you're protecting the knee joint as you open up and then externally rotate into those hips. And then hold it in second. Start to pulse. Sitting low. Knees are rolling back behind you, finding that tiny little bend. Shoulders are relaxed. And then step it back, repeat. And up. You hinge and lift. Getting a little deeper now that the body's a little bit warmer here. Again, growing a little taller through that crown of the head. We're going to get ready to take it to that lunge with the left leg. And back. Down. And back. So this time we hover that left knee off the floor as you sit back. Again, both legs come to that 90 degree shape so the front thigh and back shin come parallel. And then we'll hold in that lunge to find single lunges up and down. Knees stay in line with a second and third toe on that front leg. Shoulders remain over the hips. We're getting ready for those pulses at the bottom. Little tiny dips. So again, your hips are square. We're going to get ready for those three pulses with the passe lift, finding that moment of balance, taking arms up overhead. We've got three. Lift. Three, two, one, lift. Tapping that big toe to the knee. Standing up nice and tall, but then really getting deep into that lunge. Single counts. And up. Down. And up. Now, if you want to change this variation, you can stick with the three pulses the entire time. You can just take it to singles the entire time. So you can play with the variations. Three pulses. Bop my kick. Three pulses, bama kick. Two more times, again, pointing through those toes, lifting up nice and tall as you extend. Then we'll find single counts. Down, stretch, down, stretch. So again, I wouldn't recommend getting that leg any higher than hip height. Those hamstrings aren't ready. They're just warming up. 
And then we'll find ourselves at the bottom to open up to second. This time we're twisting the ball mound of that left foot as you open and close. Sit a little deeper. Roll those knees back. Getting ready to hold that second and pulse. Maybe now that the body's nice and warm, you get a little deeper, a little lower. And then press it all the way down. And then all the way up. That's your warm up. See you with your weights. All right, we made it to our upper body section. I'm going big and bold today with two pounders. I typically do not do this. I typically go with one pounders. So if you see me struggling throughout this upper body practice, you'll know why. All right, you guys, let's get started. Start in a nice wide second position, legs straight. We just find a bicep curl. Super important to find a soft bend within the elbows even as you extend. I want you to feel the contraction as you pull in and then feel it as you release. So even if you didn't have those weights, you would still get a great upper body work. We're gonna add in the lower body. Now if you wanna stay here in the layer one, don't find a bend of the knees, don't plie. If you wanna get that heart rate elevated, you wanna work the lower body, start to find that bend. And then hold it low, tiny pulses, little tiny contractions of those biceps hovering at the bottom. Little tiny pulls, little tiny bends down, and then start to rotate those arms out into a W position with the elbows hugging in towards the midline. We're gonna extend those arms, reach and stretch. Those fingers are in your peripheral, so you should see those pinkies, and you're never again fully extending those arms in front of you, keeping that soft bend. We're gonna add a heel lift in just a moment. I want you to keep the eye line nice and low while lifting those heels high. Again, the heel lift is totally optional. That's just adding on another layer. If you want to keep the heels on the floor or if you even want to come up to a standing position without the bend in the knees, feel free. Hold those heels high. Little tiny pulses. Reach out. Press. Stretch. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Find as much space within the neck. A little longer. Feel that burn. Maybe sitting even a little deeper. And then pulse it up, pulse those hips down. This is where you are starting to shake. Where you want to give up, but you don't. I'm going to drop the heels in just a moment. Stay with me. Drop them down. One bicep curl with the right, with one heel lift with the left. Again, keeping that opposite knee nice and rotated, we're going to take eight on each side. So eight on the right, eight on the left. Again, if you want to give your lower body a break, Lift the legs or don't lift the heel. If you need to modify from for shoulder tenderness, that bicep curl can be low where the elbow is hugging in towards the midline. Both heels up, both palms up. Notice that the biceps stay parallel to the floor. The shoulders are still relaxed. Coming up to that 90 degree shape. Let's hold it up. Down an inch. Up an inch, barely moving. Just finding one inch deeper with those hips, one little lift with those fingertips. And we'll pulse, little tiny push. This is where the difference between a one pound weight and a two pound weight really starts to be noticed. Down for two, Tandu stretch back behind you, down for two. You'll notice that with this next section for the upper body, my balance is totally shot. I almost fall out of every single exercise that we do, so bear with me. You're down and back, down. Lifting the thumbs high off the hips as you squeeze the palms towards one another, you're activating through the triceps, activating through the shoulders, through the lats, working through the inner thighs. And then this last few, I'm gonna rotate. Notice how the thumbs are high off the hips. Now you can keep the right toes on the floor the entire time. If you're having trouble with the balance, which I should have done, but I didn't. Or you can start to kick the leg up as you lift. The abdominals should be engaged, so you're protecting that low back. Little tiny pulses. With the leg, you're focusing on that crease between the glute and the hamstring. With those arms, you're keeping those thumbs high off the hips. This is where I start to lose it. Bend and extend. The leg is totally optional. If you want to stick with just those arms, you can. Keep those elbows hugging in towards the midline. Woo! Am I going to keep it? Barely. Nope. Back at it. Little tiny bend and extend. So keep the elbows as high as you can and then lift the pinkies up even higher. 
Keep that bend so the toes are reaching up to the sky. And then all we're going to do is pulse that right heel up to the sky. Up. Up. Just eight times. And then we're going to transition to the opposite side. Plie down for two. And then stretch it back. Again, lifting the pinkies and the thumbs high off those hips. Squeezing a little tighter every time. And then single counts eight times. You're down and back. What you want to do is try to keep that nice big level change, so all the way down in that plie, and then stretch nice and tall. That gets the heart rate up. That gets those calories burning. Just a few more, and then we'll shift. Turning towards the opposite side. This time, the palms are going to face up to the sky. I was not any luckier on this side with my balance. I started to fall out again. It's just one of those days. Again, chest is proud, collarbone is nice and opened, hands are high off those hips, pointing those toes nice and long to the opposite side of the room. Reaching a little higher, a little longer, and then we'll bend and stretch. Bend, reach, bend, reach. Again, keeping those elbows nice and tight towards the midline. So I don't think that I fall out of this one, but I'm totally struggling. I'm probably even like scrunching my face. That's how hard I'm trying to stay in this position. Little tiny pushbacks. Yeah, you can tell by my upper body. I'm focusing totally on the lower body. I should have dropped my leg. Anyways, hold the upper body up and then just pulse the toes. Lift. Seven. Six. And drop it down. Big old shoulder roll. Drop those weights. Give yourself a nice interlace behind the back, lifting the thumbs high off the hips. Chest is open, heart is lifted. Hand to the ear, flex through the wrist. Bring the chin forward and back, play with it a little bit, see what feels good for you, and then swip, swap it out. And then we'll take it to the bar. All right, you guys, we're heading over to the bar for our bar section. For my class this morning, I had them facing towards the bar, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be facing more towards you just so you can see what I'm doing. All right, when you're ready, we're going to get started. Short and sweet. All right, we're starting this bar section in a wide second, so your toes are out, heels are in. Wider than the hips, just starting with our plies. You can keep both arms off the bar. You take one arm on, lightly touching towards the bar. Find a nice big range of motion. And we'll make this even bigger by finding a releve at the top. So deep bend and releve up. So I'm going to add lots of different levels into this bar section. So if you'd like to stay at level one, level two, totally up to you. We're going to add a jump in just a moment. I want to use the plie, use the bend, the force, as you push yourself up. But land softly, toe ball, heel back into your bend. You protect the knees, protect the spine. If you don't want to jump, stick with that plie releve. Now we're going to take it straight to tempo. Lift it up. Lift it up. Already your heart rate is starting to lift and those legs are on fire. So that's why this bar series is nice and short because it's going to get it fast. Hold it at the bottom in just a moment for tiny little pulses. Actually, this is down an inch, up an inch. So we're not straight to our pulses yet. We're just taking it nice and slow, down an inch, up an inch, allowing that heart rate to slow down. Shoulders roll over the hips. Here's the pulses. Little tiny dips, finding your edge, and then sinking just a little bit deeper. And then from here, We'll lift the heels and lower. Now you're trying to keep the eye line as low as you can while you lift the heels. So try not to find this bouncing motion as you lift up. Shifting the weight to the second and the third toe as opposed to the pinky. Now keep those heels lifted. We take it down an inch, up an inch. So just repeating the exact same series that we just did when our heels were flat on the floor. Again, maybe you want to challenge yourself by taking both arms off the bar. Apparently I had an itch so I could not wait. And then tiny pulses, little tiny dips. Keep the core engaged. Now my nose itches. Focus. We're going to make this even bigger in just a moment. Second to first, plie out, plie in. So you want to find that deep second position and then come to that diamond shape as you connect the heels. 
Now this is your layer one. If you want to stay here, you do. If you want to get that heart rate up even higher, we add a jump, out and in, press. Again, you're landing softly toe ball heel back into that nice deep bend. Totally optional. If you don't want to jump, just find 16 plies out and in. We're going to hold it in first. Lift the heels and then slide them to touch so the heels aren't to their highest potential. They're about hovering off the floor. Then we repeat the exact same series that we just did. Down an inch, up an inch, and then 16 pulses. Now you can take both arms off the bar to challenge that balance. You can keep the inside arm onto the bar if you need a little bit of support. Totally up to you. Arms even up in high fifth if you want. We're at those pulses, 16. I want you to think about squeezing the heels towards one another, really activating through those inner thighs and outer thighs, getting those glutes. Full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up. So big plie, big squeeze of the inner thighs as you stand up nice and tall. You've got that string pulling you all the way up. Just like we did in that series in second, we're going to add the releve at the top. So all the way down and then all the way up. So again, layer one, you can stay with the heels flat on the floor. Layer two, you can lift them up. Or layer three, we're going to add that jump. So the jump is totally optional when we do incorporate it into the class. This is your chance. I choose to keep my arm in first position as opposed to lifting it up. Totally up to you. Again, you can stay here. We're going to take this to tempo in just a moment. Little tiny lifts up always keeping the bend of the knees as you land back down. Protecting that, those joints. Press, press. Dropping those heels every time. I was sweating. I was dying at this moment. I think it was like 7.15 in the morning. Just finished a class. Lift those heels. Find your balance. Drop it down one inch lower. And then lift it all the way up. We're not done yet we find our elevates. I'm going to lower the heels and lift. And down and up. Now if you have calf trouble, shin trouble, you could take this to a bend instead of a straight leg lift. Totally up to you, but we're going to fire up the calves. And we're going to take it to tempo. So this entire series, you're going to repeat this one more time. I did not do this for the sake of the video because I had someone pop in and I didn't have time to finish it. But so your entire bar section will be about 10, 12 minutes total. So just repeat the entire series. All right. All right, you guys, we're making it to our mat section. Since this is an express class, I actually opted to not do your core work, but we're only going to focus on lower body. Not to say that we're not going to get some core work within this lower body, it's actually going to be working on the obliques as well. So all you'll need is a mat. It's brutal. So find yourself in a tabletop position with the shoulders over palms. Open up that right knee towards the side and then pull the ankle into the back of the left knee. So the knee, the right knee, the working knee is opened and then extending back. Tapping the ankle in to the back of the knee and then stretching back out. I think you have about 16 total here. Pulling the belly in, keeping the neck nice and long so it's an extension of the spine. And then little tiny reaches. So you want to find that height and then little kickbacks. The focus of the, is on that extension as you stretch those toes long back behind you. Not sinking down into your wrist. Start to lower down to the left forearm. And then we pull the knee in towards the tricep. In and stretch. So as I mentioned, the focus here is on the lower body, but that core is getting work as well. So about 16 here, I believe. And then we'll swap it out, taking it to the opposite side. And I'm just going to rotate to the opposite side so you can see what my leg is doing. This time the left knee opens up towards the side. Again, knee is in line with the hip. Tap it in and back. And then stretch. Neck stays long. Soft bend within the elbows. The supporting knee is underneath the hip. And then the belly is really pulling in. After 16 here, we're going to find those tiny little extens extensions. So little presses, reaches out, little stretch. Big toes reaching towards the floor. 
want to start to pull that knee in towards the tricep after we drop down to that right forearm and then in and stretch. So instead of thinking about knee to elbow, think about knee to tricep or even underarm. So it's nice and tight, really finding that cinch within the side of the body. Just a few more. We want to finish with a nice big child's pose, allowing the toes to come in, the knees to come out. Reach those fingers forward. Make sure that you find a nice big stretch here to finish your class. <laughs> 